Our pets. We love them. And they love us. Or do they? It's Ladylike, and today we're gonna find out. I have two cats, Mars and Bones. Bones is my all black cat, short hair. I think he's a Bombay. He's very talkative, a little angsty. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you, then he loves you not. He's always on the lookout for villains, like posting up on windows where he can see if a villain is about to approach. There he is right there. Keep a good lookout, Bones. And then my lover, Mars, is a long hair ragdoll. All he wants to do is act like he's stoned and lay around on his back. And uh, those are my boys. The yin and the yang, the sugar and the spice. I have heard about pet psychics, but I'm still on the fence when it comes to human psychics. So Bones had an asthma attack in November and he had to spend all night in the ER and it was very scary for me. So I'm wondering if there's any residual trauma that he's carrying around. Also, here's another thing. There are a lot of stray dogs and cats in my neighborhood and I feed them. I feed all the cats. I know that the internet is probably gonna be like, don't do that, you're hurting them, blah, blah, blah. These cats look hungry, and like, I'm not gonna stop giving to the cats in need. And I know my boys don't like that. They hiss, they get very upset. I wanna see if they're just, and I also wanna see if the psychic can help me communicate to them that they need to chill the f out. I just wanna do right by my boys. They are my sons, and I love them so much. I am revealing myself as a crazy cat lady, but y'all knew that. Hi. You want, you want to show off how handsome you are? They put on their bow ties because, uh, you know, yeah, they had to be camera ready. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so happy to have you here. This is Mars. Hello, just, Mars. We were setting up and he just like sat down <laughs> in between us and cozied up. <laughs> really? He's giving me the look like, let's go. So Melissa, what do you do for a profession? So I am a pet psychic. Okay. I've been a pet psychic for, I, mean, I guess all my life, but professionally for probably the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now when you talk to them, how do you take them in? Every animal's a little bit different, mm -hmm. but I feel like they do have a voice. And it's interesting because the way we're talking is a little bit differently than the way they'll talk to me. A lot of times they'll show me images or I'll start to act like that animal because I really am feeling them yeah. through my body. So sometimes also the communication gets crossed. They are so bonded and mm -hmm. so close, like they love each other so much. They're kind of both giving me messages at the same time. Well guys, come on, don't interrupt each other. <laughs> so last night, you sent me a picture and I just did. said, we're ready. So immediately, like when I looked at it, I went, well, they're not cats, they're human. Like that was like. I mean, look at them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the look first at thing that I got. Face. He's very much like, do you see this? Like he's very into what he looks like, yes. first of all. Sometimes it's hard to put into work. Like he's showing me like you looking at yourself and like taking pride in what you look like. Uh -huh. And like, he's like, oh yeah, like we're really attractive and like we're really beautiful. <laughs> and like me and my mom are just both really pretty. Okay, I'm in the middle of something. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So he's telling me he goes between being your baby and being your friend. He's your confidant and like he knows when you're sad or when you're stressed. I joke that they're my therapy cats. Yes. Yeah. Um, because he is very much like if I'm sad, he's, he won't leave my side. Right. And that's what he's saying. Like he enjoys being that for you. Mm -hmm. Like his job here is your soulmate to make sure that you're feeling good and that you're feeling happy. He's telling me something about food. Oh, of course he is. Like, is there something that you said, feed him that like looks like oatmeal or like mushy? Yeah, the vet did tell me that they're a little bit overweight. <sighs> so um, I've been experimenting with some grain-free options to mm. keep it high protein. And, and I mean, it's wet cat food, so I feel- Are they different flavors? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I feel like he likes like the beefier ones. Do you like the beefy ones? Oh. When you said that, his little eyes looked at you. It's like a great, more like gravier one. He likes that one. He yeah. doesn't like the pate one. Yeah, he's All like right. the ones that are very like oatmeal-y. He doesn't like the, the gravy-ish. All right, dude, I hear you. That, I mean, that brand's expensive, but it's so like Mars to tell you about the like the food he wants first. That was, that was definitely, he's like, we need to talk about that. Like, I love her. And, you know, I love her soulmate, and... all that, great. She knows that, but the food. But also the food, yeah. Yes. Does he have any thoughts or opinions about where we've been versus where we are now? 
basically what he's telling me is like, you're very good at making a home for him, like wherever you are. But he said now like he likes it because like he has more space and he feels like he has more freedom here. Like, I don't know, did you have to keep him in a room at one point? Yeah, I mean, they have a room mm -hmm. that I used to keep them in for a majority of the time because my boyfriend and I were moving in together and he was adjusting to his allergies. He's just like, I just, that to me was like not great because you he want felt- couches. Yes, he likes to be cozy. Like he's showing me couches and all that. And he said, like, you just seem much happier now. And you spend a lot more time here with mm -hmm. him. Like, mm -hmm. and he likes that a lot. The biggest thing is he wants you to know you are his person and he is so, <laughs> grateful to you. Anything you need, he would be there for you. He just, it's its like a very spiritual, emotional connection more than anything Oh, else. that's definitely it. Yeah, this cat has been with me through the worst, you know. Mm -hmm. He is, he is my little soulmate. They both love you. Mm -hmm. Like, they're both just like, you give them everything. Like, their hearts just are so full and just they love you so much. I really hit the jackpot with you and your brother. Oh, he's like, I'm yeah. out. Uh, are you I'm out? done. Are you out? Should I get bones? Hi, honey. You can stay here just a second. Okay, well, we're here for you. He doesn't have to be right here for me to read him. So, bones. I just feel like bones is a little bit more of the clown. Like, he's just like the, the dude. Like, he's like the clown. Yeah. He's the one that like, he like loves his toys and he loves to climb and he loves to look out the windows. He's very, um, not go with the flow. That's not really the right, cause he's not really go with the flow. He's like, this is what I want. <laughs> but he's more independent, I guess, yes. is the word. Yes. He does feel like a protector. Yes. Like he feels like he has to let you know if something's out of place or something's weird. And he's also telling me that like do you help other people cats, like you'll help other people's cats or you'll help other cats. I have stray cats. There's so many stray cats on the street. There you go. That I, I feed. That's crazy. But they're around. They're in the yard. Yes, because he wasn't showing me them in the house and in my head I'm like, well she wouldn't have like somebody's cat in her yard. He sees them. I'm sure he does. <laughs> like he's like, I know, because he's telling me about them. Um, but he just is like, like, pr like proud of you. Oh, thanks bud. I thought you were mad at me because no. I was feeding other cats. No, he feels proud. He doesn't want them here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean like He's that's like, I don't want another cat. I'm just saying like, I'm proud of you. Do you have any questions for either of them? Yeah. Do they like my choice of men? So Mars said he's always your number one man, so it, like that's it. Like, Very it doesn't true. matter. I feel like they're your current boyfriend. Like they're kind of like, yeah, like they, they don't care if he's here or not. Like, it's like they like him. Like, they're, they're, <laughs> you know, like he's nice. Like, he's cool to them. I feel like he tries. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like, he really tries. Who's the guy, like, with a beard? That's my current boyfriend. Oh, okay. Because yeah. they're like, um, I really, like, they like, and like him. That's funny. I can't wait to tell Pat. He'll yeah. be so excited. They showed me the beard. They're like, that, that's who we like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask him how he's feeling? Recently, he's had an asthma attack. Oh. Mm hmm. I feel like he feels fine. I don't know if you're giving him medication. He like doesn't, the asthma attack, he feels fine about. Okay, good. Cause it was traumatizing. It was traumatizing for us both. And is he still on a medication? An inhaler. Is it, oh. oh so it's just you, gonna, you were just doing Yeah, cause inhaler. I'm like, what are you doing? Like to him, I, cause he doesn't know that. Yeah. Like, but he was showing me like this thing, like he hates that. He but. does hate it. He truly <laughs> hates it. Okay. But they're happy. They're happy. They love you and they're happy. Thank you. This was so cool. You're right. It's funny because everything you told me, you know, I intuited. Right. Yeah, I feel like my boys, my cats, I can very. Of easily. course you can. Yeah, yeah, because you 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 don't treat them like your cats. You treat them like your people. Like they're part of your life. I literally call them my sons. Yeah, they are my sons. All they're of my sons. sons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Melissa. Oh, this was fun. This is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I have a son. His name is James. I really want to figure out what's going on in that brain. I do have a list of questions. Has he ever seen a ghost in here? 